What do you think that the young lawyer should focus? Because they say it's all wavering for the first five years, the practice. They say that, as you said, they should be in the belly. But I also remember I we read a story. There were a young couple who wanted to marry, and both of them were not earning. Then another person asked, "How will you survive?" They said that uh, love is in the air. We will do that. But eventually, they had a divorce because their entire tussle because because there was nothing to eat, etc. So that they said love is there, but you also have to have something to eat also because you can't survive only on the love. So what do you say that young lawyers must focus for the initial five years? And what are the skills they must pick up initially? Because they say at the first stage, as they say, foundation should be strong. In law, also we say that if the foundation is weak, the superstructure falls. So how to build that foundation for a better superstructure of tomorrow for India? One of the things that a lawyer must, a younger lawyer must always do is read. Library books should be your best friend. Knowledge is what you must acquire. After all, it is this profession, apart from being a thinking profession, is a knowledge-based profession. I have handled air crash inquiry, where I had to study about aerial launch, black box. Six months I had to study not law, but how we you know all this uh, uh, plane flies, what happened to what happens to it when it uh, crash lands, how is a, a black box, you know, red. So, you know, you must have a general knowledge as well, not just, you know, law books. I have handled as advocate general litigations relating to the interstate water dispute, where I had to cross-examine a triple PhD, where I had to cross-examining on scientific principles. How did I do it? I sat with the uh, somebody retired the Indian Institute of Professors from uh, 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock in the night. 12 to 3, I would, you know, sit on my own and think how, you know, I could cross-examine this person based on the knowledge that I had acquired. So, what you must do is, as youngsters, first thing that I've always said is, be a litigating lawyer at least for about two years. You are better off as a transaction lawyer. Because you know what are the pitfalls in drafting out the transactional uh, uh, documentation. After all, there are cases where, in fact, I had one matter where one cent in respect of a, 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 a power purchase agreement, one cent was the issue. One of the Singapore-based uh, company had drafted out. It was running into about 250 pages. This one cent translated to a thousand crores. Ultimately, we went into litigation. Matter went in for arbitration. There, the lawyer in Singapore did not know what mistake he had made because he had no, had no experience of litigation. If you have some litigation experience, you know what are the pitfalls. So you are better off. One. Second, join a firm where you are able to interact with the senior. That is very, very important. The old Gurukul system. After all, what you learn in the law colleges and what you practice are totally different. I'm sure, you know, many other youngsters today have learned about it because they come to the, come for placement and go to courts, which we did not have that uh, uh, privilege. So interaction with the senior is very, very important. Third, drafting skills. This again is very important because when you start drafting, when you are precise and concise, your arguments also will be precise and concise. So try and understand how one can draft. One of the things that always, you know, the mistake that youngsters do is They'll draft out and then give it to the senior. Well, let him do what he wants. One must always revise the edition. I mean, revise the draft once, twice. Let me tell you this. I don't want to name the judge. One of the really good judges that uh, Karnataka sent to the Supreme Court, who is now today a retired judge, he was drafting, I mean, revising his own judgments at least twice. 
and when it came out it was so crisp and clear look at the privy council judgments they are so crisp why because they revised it so as youngsters this revision trying to be perfect trying to achieve excellence this is what you must aim at once you do that i'm sure you know the sky is the limit you will go to the top